welcome to the channel get rich today we are going to look into how to build an investment portfolio what is an investment portfolio investment portfolio consists of several asset classes so it can be stocks bonds real estate and any other asset classes so investment portfolio is to gain wealth over time so in this video we are going to look this into four different processes so the first one is risk tolerance so we will look into what is risk tolerance and what are the steps inside the risk tolerance and the second one we are going to look into is asset allocation so how to allocate assets and the third one we are going to look into the reassessment of the portfolio how to reassess the portfolio and the final the fourth stage is to rebalance your portfolio these are the four different stages of investment portfolio we are going to look into today so let's jump into this video so first one is risk tolerance so what is risk tolerance so risk tolerance comes in different ways how much percentage will you be able to see your portfolio down in some day can be 10 percent for some people it can be 20 percent for some people it can be 30 percent for some people so it depends on their individual risk appetite and the other thing comes in the risk tolerance is what is your objective is it to generate wealth or is it to fund your child education or is it for your marriage or or what is your objective of the investment so from the objective you can find out what is your investment time frame based on the investment time frame then you can see your risks so if your investment time frame is short term let's say it's three years or three to five years then you should be a conservative investor if your uh, goal is to 10 years of time frame then you should be a moderate investor if your time frame is more than 15 20 years you can be aggressive so these are the three different uh, categories i split the conservative group moderate risk group and the aggressive group so usually how much allocation we can take into the risky assets so how to select how much risky assets and how much stable assets in anybody's portfolio so usually a simple math is 100 minus your age for example if your age is 30 so which is 100 minus 30 which is going to be 70 percent that's the max you can go into the risky assets so personally my personal opinion is for conservative investors 25 percent can be for a risky stock portfolio for moderate investors 50 percent can be stock portfolio and for aggressive investors it can be up to 75 percent of stock portfolio so the second category this is the first one which is to assess your risk and to find your objective and find your risk tolerance that's the first stage then we go to the second stage the second stage is the asset allocation itself so what is your desired asset allocation how do you allocate assets so first you have to know what are the safe assets and what are the risky assets so let's split the asset allocation into for example first the safe assets and the risky assets what do i mean by safe assets safe assets are something which has low volatility for example it can be bonds it can be cash can be gold it can be real estate whatever asset classes which are having low volatility then that comes under low risk category so whatever asset classes which has higher volatility then that comes into a riskier asset classes so how do you allocate your assets so as i just mentioned in the previous section risk tolerance depends on your risk you can be in conservative investors or moderate or aggressive investors so you should be having a diversified portfolio in this section i'm going to mention how to build a stock portfolio first you have to allocate between different asset classes and then you have to take the stock portfolio one has to build a stock portfolio it, it consists of four different building blocks so the first one has to be a stable portfolio or which is going to be a foundation of the portfolio whatever happens that should be pretty strong 
so the foundation portfolio or the foundation category should be the market leaders the large caps the blue chip of the stocks which provide stability to the portfolio on top of that foundation you put growth stocks some mid caps which has higher growth and uh, comes with less risk little bit less risk so that's the second building block that can be growth stock and mid caps and the third one will be high growth small cap stocks that's the third one and the final one will be micro caps so how much allocation you do between these four different building blocks so the market leaders are the large caps i would say 30 to 40 percent the growth stocks mid cap i would say 20 to 30 percent and the high growth small cap can be 20 percent and the micro caps can be 10 to 15 percent so this is how you should build a stock portfolio it should contain all different market cap sizes and it should provide stability growth and everything to your uh, portfolio that's how you should build a stock portfolio so now let's look into diversification how do you do a diversification of your portfolio so first you have to diversify across different asset classes as i said based on your risk for example if you are in a conservative investor or for example if you are a moderate investor then you should go for 50 percent risk and 50 percent safe assets so out of the 50 percent risk you can be in uh, stocks even in the stock asset class you have to diversify out of the rest of the 50 percent which are safe assets out of the safe assets you have to hold cash bonds gold real estate it can be anything which you consider is a safety asset diversified within the safe category and diversify within within the risk category so once you go into a stock portfolio even inside the stock portfolio you have to diversify so you can have you can hold some mutual funds so i don't uh, advise to diversify much into mutual funds because uh, just mutual fund itself is a diversified uh, stock uh, portfolio so you can have uh, two to three mutual funds is fine but the max you can go up to five funds if you are holding a mutual fund as an asset class so out of the stock portfolio so you have to look into different diversification so the first one is sector wise diversification so what are the sectors you are looking into so if you have for example uh, in the stock portfolio you have 10 stocks let's say so 15 is the max max you can have 15 stocks is the maximum amount of stocks you can have in a portfolio I would say 10 to 12 would be ideal so out of these 10 to 12 stocks you have to look into different sectors so you should have uh, different sectors in the portfolio it can be cyclicals it can be other types of stocks financials technology pharma whatever this the sector can be so it should not be correlated in a positive sense for example if financial falls also nbfc might fall as well so that cannot be considered as a diversification you have to have a completely different sectors which are acting as uncorrelated assets and the second can be market cap wise diversification as i said put some in large cap some in mid cap some in small cap so diversify accordingly and then you have to have some entry strategy for your asset classes what are the entry strategy you should have so buying at once is not a nice strategy of course so the most popular one is dollar cost averaging so how do you enter a stock so the dollar cost averaging is buying small amounts in some periods of time for example every month you put hundred dollars or every month you put thousand rupees every month you put five thousand rupees instead of putting a big one lakh rupees into at one price point so if you do a uh, different price points then it will average it out for example in the right side you have the lump sum investment of eight hundred dollars at ten dollars so if you put at that price point and at the it has uh, several fluctuations and finally it reaches 10 so at your lump sum investment you do not have any return because you invested at 10 dollar currently it's a 10 dollar at the same time you invested 100 investment at different price points your average price will be much lesser and at the same 10 dollar stock it goes then you have 20 percent investment return so that's the power of dollar cost averaging so always consider dollar cost averaging as your entry strategy don't do buying at once so if you decide to buy start with 25 to 33 percent if you really want to do it as a lump sum even if you feel the stock is undervalued accumulate gradually not all at once so and then we have a reassessment of a portfolio how do you do reassessment so you have to regularly track your portfolio 
have to check uh, you have for example in a stock portfolio if you have 10 stocks you have to read quarterly reports you have to do and read annual reports you have to check the news and you have to check the asset valuation periodically if the stock price rose quite high then you should value it and then you see okay is it now undervalued or overvalued and does it make sense to hold this amount at my portfolio so you have to do reassess periodically that's also an important step in the investment portfolio management and finally you have rebalancing step always you should rebalance for example you invest at 50 percent stocks or risky assets and 50 percent in safe assets and safe assets will not give much return compared to stocks your stocks went up so huge and now 80 percent of your portfolio is stock only 20 percent is safe assets so now what should you do according to me you should rebalance your portfolio because according to your risk profile you should be holding 50 percent risky and 50 percent safe assets now you are at 80 percent risk and 20 percent safe now you should rebalance because the market went up pretty huge so if you do rebalance 50 50 or even you can go if you feel the market is way overvalued then you can go even to 40 percent or 30 percent at that case if the market falls you can increase your allocation so even 50 50 would be good because if you reduce your portfolio to 50 50 and then market falls then automatically your portfolio is going to be 30 to 40 percent of risky asset then you can have more allocation you can at that time you can buy pretty huge in the cheap stocks so that's also pretty important and finally the exit strategy how do you exit a stock so you have to look at the market valuation is it the valuation sustainable if it is way overvalued for example if you analyze a stock and you feel the stock is at a ridiculous p or a ridiculous valuation then you have to do dollar cost out of a stock so we just saw dollar cost averaging so how you dollar cost average in at a stock and the same way you have to dollar cost out of a stock never sell all the holding at once so never buy everything at one price point and never sell everything at one price point so you should book partial profits along the way so you have to dollar cost average in and also as a exit strategy you should dollar cost average out of your particular stock if it is way overvalued like this you have to do and maintain an investment portfolio always diversify always diversify into different sectors and different stocks don't hold more than 15 stocks in a stock portfolio that's very difficult to manage because you have to read quarterly reports annual reports it's very difficult if you own more than 15 stocks in a stock portfolio the average or optimum would be 10 to 12 stocks would suffice for your diversification so that's all for today thank you for watching this video if you like this video like share and comment and if you did not subscribe to my newsletter yet please subscribe to my newsletter the link below so that's all for today thank you for watching and have a nice day